Winning in Life with Pastor Solomon. Today, I continued with our series on divine rest. I'm not talking on rest because it's summer or because it's spring. No, no. I'm talking on rest because God proposed that all his children will live life from a continual state of rest. Rest is not found in things. It's found in a person. And that is in the person of Jesus Christ. He said, come to me, all you that labor and a heavy laden, I'll give you rest. How can I activate, cultivate the rest of God? In the book of Exodus chapter 33, verse 14, the Bible says, the Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Again, we can see that the rest of God is a gift that is found in his presence. The Bible says in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Do you want rest? Do you want to activate divine rest in your life? It's found in the presence of God. Rest is found in a person. Rest is found in him and in him alone. My presence will go with you and I'll give you rest. What led to this statement? The Lord was leading the people of Israel into the promised land and he told Moses, I'm going to send my angel to go with you. Go to the land that I've promised your forefathers. Go ahead. Moses said, Lord, if you will not go with us, we will not go. Because without you, it's nothing. He said, Lord, we are not going if you will not go with us. Because Moses has discovered the value of the abiding presence of God. He knows that when the abiding presence of God is with a person, that person will have rest. God never leaves people. People leave God. Moses said, Lord, we are not going anywhere. It is your presence that has brought us out of the house of bondage that took us through the wilderness, that took us through the Red Sea, that took us through the desert, that provided manna for us. Your presence fed us with quails. Your presence provided water from the rock. Your presence protected us from serpents. Your presence, it was because of your presence. Lord, then if you will not go with us, the promised land, there is no promises in it. You are our greatest treasure, your presence. When the presence of God becomes your greatest treasure and your greatest desire, rest becomes your permanent portion. When the presence of God becomes your greatest desire, your greatest treasure, your great that's the most important thing to you, the presence of God, then rest becomes a permanent feature in your life. The question I have for you today is, what is most important to you? It is the blessing or is it the blesser? Is it the presence of God or is it the promised land? When the presence of God becomes the most important thing in your life, the blessing, the promised land and rest will be yours in abundance. So I encourage you today to start desiring the presence of God. David said, as the deer pants for water, so my soul long after you, O Lord. Begin to long for his presence. Begin to long for God more than any other thing. And then you will be able to live in perpetual state of rest. You're going out to be blessed. You're coming in to be blessed. Everything you do will be done from a place of rest. God bless you. For more information, visit the website Arklow Christian Community Church International at arklowccci.org or go to Arklow CCCI on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and Twitter. You can follow Pastor Solomon Araboto on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and Twitter at Pastor.Tosh. Winning in life on UCV Ireland.